Disclaimer, we're not in Italy, but we are in a pizzeria. <laughs> we're finally back from Italy. We have just completed the Peace Pilgrimage. Rode from Milan to Naples over six long days. We were on the hunt for the best pizzas. Does it just record? Oh, okay. It was more like day zero, really, wasn't it? Hello, hello, hello. The first day in Milan. Oh. It was the night before we actually rode on the Saturday. It, it, does, it does zoom in out, yeah. I really liked Milan. Cool vibe in the evening. It's pretty nice. But it is warm. We found a nice pizza place. Dennis. We're in the first place called Demi's. Denine. God, I don't know how they pronounce things. The pizza was actually great. I enjoyed that place. Yeah, it was a good one. First pizza. Three word review. Light. Crispy. Tomatoey. My three words are tasty tomato base. Oh, unreal. The food was really good, so. Wow. Really taken back by that one, but here we go. Stay one. It's day one the Pete's pilgrimage. Holly's on Camus, short in the route. Where are we going today? We're going to Salo, I was at in Lake Harder. Got 160k on the cars today. Okay, day one, let's have it. We are maybe five kilometres in and we've got some bike dramas. I had an issue with my bike like within like 30k. No, like, less. Seven less. maybe? Okay. 7.7. Seven. We were on a bike path that was annoying. My bike was making noises and I was just like, f*** this, I'm done already. Any words for the camera? <laughs> I kind of got over it. But to be honest, the riding from Milan to the little town that we went to, it wasn't really anything. <laughs> Can you remember the town that we stopped in? It begins with me. Brescia? I will butcher all the names of anything in Italian. Lestro Pizza. And Golby stopped there. Yeah. We are kind of three quarters of the way through first ride today and to be honest, it's been non-existent. It's just been a flat road, busy road for about 100k. But now we are on a 15k climb. A lot of our profiles on the trip basically looked like this. 150k up. Every like, day. Every day it was like flat up. Holly has dropped me fully straight off the front. But I'm okay with it. I'm here for the adventure, not the race. Bradley is somewhere back there. Being slow. So I'm gonna let her go. I'm gonna sweat it out. And I'm sure I will see her at the top. I think he's annoyed. Keep riding ahead of him on the climb. <laughs> We've just climbed for about an hour, 15k, and then we're on this descent. It's the worst descent I've ever been on. Awful, awful. just awful descent. It's so steep. We kind of were getting close, and it said like Lake Garda, but we had another what, like 40k to do with a huge climb. We get to this main road, and we get to the climb, and it was just like done. Let's go jump in the lake. We've sacked off the climb. Cycling's not about suffering. What is it about? Finding the places to have fun. What are we going to do instead? We then went out. And where did we go for dinner? That was the one on the lake. Oh, we are at a place called Papillon. There's fish. Look at the size of that fish. Pizza. That was the pizza. Fresh, tasty, chewy, and it's a five out of five. Wow. What was your review? Spectacular location. Cheesy. God. And how many out of five? Uh, I'd give it a four. Apparently I this is not enough. You know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Drowning my sorrows. Day two. Where are we going? Everything's ready. Bags are locked and loaded. Pumped up the old tires. We are good to go. I've experienced one of my favourite discoveries of the whole of Italy is their petrol stations. So we've just stopped at a petrol station. This is a strange petrol station. And tell us why, Holly. Well, 
it's actually a bar inside. I don't even know if it's 12 o'clock yet, but like everyone's drinking inside. I actually love the culture here at this petrol station and the truckers are just having like charcuterie boards for lunch. You've got to look after yourself. The headphones have come out. To be fair, we have not chatted at all. So yeah. not really going to see any difference, but... I never cried without music. Even in company. <laughs> <laughs> It was kind of silly the way that we rode that day. I think we really pressed 120k. Yeah. The heat was just crazy. We were on the verge of like, we need food. I was worried for my life. It's like, this is going to be quite funny if we need to go to a car for and eat a pizza. Which is exactly what we did. Yeah. And it was tragic. We sat on the floor at Car 4 Express. Three word review of the pizza. Dry as Dry as It's so hot. It's so, so hot. This is when the heat really started to kick in. It's going to be hard to get going again, isn't it? We haven't even made it to the top. <laughs> this is so long. So we just had our day two evening pizza. The pizza was really good. And it was a massive pizza, so we just had one. I would give it a three out of five. Oh. Uh, and then my three words are crispy, tangy, tasty. Should have gone three teas. For me, well, that was everything that I wanted from the experience of an Italian pizzeria. Little family run thing, it felt like. Yeah, I loved it. Four out of five for me. And my three words, crunchy, crispy, delightful. So yeah, day two, done. Where did we go? Down Look at that. Hey, wasn't that Pisa? Pisa. What was the end destination? Gianna. I swear on that day, it was like 150k of crap. It was so dead. But Pisa was cool. We are at Pisa. I thought it was so much bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> Pizza space was good. A little bit strange, this cooling system. Pizza pizza review. A real classic. Oh, and then we rode on to... Siena. There was some really, really nice road. So nice. That road, what a mental road. Siena's amazing. Siena's unreal. Had a good pizza. I can't really remember it, but I remember it was good. Day four. Siena to Viterbo, 150k. We are uh, getting tired. Yeah. Come on then, give us a rundown. Are you a shell? I can't even remember the day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're already cracked. Tired. So, so tired. 54k out of Siena, and it's been the most beautiful riding we've done yet. But it is bloody hot. What we've realised is we can't hack it anymore. <laughs> it's too so hot. It's actually, it's hard, it's hard. I won't lie, we are two absolute shells. <laughs> two absolute cracked units right here, worrying about tomorrow. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm recording. Ooh. What more could you want as an appetiser before your pizza? Peanuts and poppadoms. Just the best. This would easily be one of my favourite experiences. We ordered two margaritas. Two margaritas. It was this plate, but it was like hanging over the edge here. And I think that was also another telltale sign of like, this might not be very good. <laughs> hanging over the, the plate. I kind of like that, but I think we're both a little bit disappointed. It's sad. It's, it's so, so sad. It's Wine was rank. 10 out of 10 for experience. Solid like one out of 10 for food. Dipped into Rome. I actually loved Rome. So yeah. cool, cool, cool. We're at the Colosseum. That was the one where we'd been recommended by Callum. Thank you, Callum. Callum's quite hard to enjoy it because it was so hot. It's too hot. Rode out of Rome 
Oh, I didn't like that. Because the lunch spot was so hot, definitely didn't eat enough, so I was in a really bad way. stay that way? Norma? This was the worst thing ever. I was not in a good way, not in a good mood. Didn't want to, just wanted to get in, get changed. So you, we've done it through booking.com, so you think you're getting like a hotel, but it's actually like an Airbnb. There's been no comms. We're just like outside an apartment block. I'm like, oh, we're here. She's like, okay, Vanessa will be there in 10 minutes. So we're just sat there. I'm already kind of losing the will to live by this point. The fact that I'm even having to wait. Vanessa turns up. Vanessa just does not speak English. Absolutely fine. Uh Google Translate, thank you. She starts speaking into this phone. Holly knows exactly what she said. She's basically said, yeah, the bikes aren't going. And I was just like, well, the bikes are going up there. She's like, you see that bush over there? <laughs> I'm calling this other lady called Barbara. So I'm like, Barbara, Vanessa's not letting us in. What do we do? Some Italian conversation goes over. Barbara calls me, Brad, they're not going in. I'm like, are you joking, yeah, Barbara? No. So Holly's like, well, fuck this. I'm finding somewhere else to stay. <laughs> Finds a B&B. &B. Who does she call? Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened and then all of a sudden she kind of just had like a bit of a fuck it, just take him up. Let's just pray the pizza here makes up for it. It doesn't look like there's a good place, so I'm excited. So we're at De Bellario Blizzard. Thoughts? Yeah, I've loved this place. This is everything I wanted from today. It's really good pizza and also we have these great homemade crisps. Yeah, very good so far. Last big nudge. Pepe and Granny come at me. God. I can't say. I'm looking forward to it. I had a bit of a struggle on day six, to be honest. Yes. The issue was, where you would normally ride, <laughs> it was like the crappiest bit of road. So you either had to ride on like a slither like that, <laughs> between the bush and the crap bit of road, or go there. But if you ride in the smooth bit of road, you're dead. And you're just like, oh, I fight for my life, or I fight for my life. The main roads were hard. That was a big day of main roads, really. My brain is like, you're tired. It's hurting. You're tired. It's hurting. Yeah, go into Pepe and Granny, the mecca of pizza. We were staying there and just little things like the bed frame is made out of the wood that he puts in the fire for the pizza. And everything's like brought in together. Francesco was straight away like, oh, I'll get you a table on the terrassa. Like what time do you want to be on there? We'll get you a table, you've got a table. And it was just like, we're so looked after, so, so nice. last night. We actually stayed there as well. It's such a beautiful place. Just got to head into Napoli now, figure out how we get these bikes home. We'll try and find a bike box, two of them, to cafe on first and we'll see where we go from there. So, yeah, last day, kind of short day, thank God. <laughs> the size of this door. The trip was to explore these tiny little towns that you would never go to. And I think that's what's so beautiful about the bike is that you would never really end up there unless you did it by bike. I'd never seen spots like that before. Well, I stopped a lot to take pictures because yeah. it was just so nice. 